Today's lesson, the kids are going to be playing with a game called Crocodile Dentist. And they're first going to play with the toy, and then their objective is to figure out how it works inside without taking it apart. And just like scientists, it's like a black box where you never know really how things work, but you can make a really good guess or inference based on what you observe. And then you need to see if your colleagues agree on that inference or not. And then that's how we make up our scientific theories that we find inside textbooks. So the students will be engaging in that series of activities. And one way they're going to practice communicating with their colleagues is not only by discussing it in class, but by using technology through the use of discussion boards and blogs and um, webcasts using School Loop. What I would like you to do in about the next 15 minutes is to try and come up with as a group how you think the inside of this toy is made that makes it do what it does. Your ideas must include words, but it must also include pictures of what you think the inside would look like if we busted it open. You have until Wednesday to post your ideas on School Loop. Because on Wednesday, you're going to have time to come back to your groups. And based on what all the other groups talked about, you're going to be able to come up with a new idea for your crocodile. Some teachers feel constrained that the only technology they can integrate into their curriculum is what they can do from the teacher perspective of doing PowerPoints or showing a video from the internet. And I think it's important to know that kids do have access to computers and sometimes it's even better to show them how you got that technology into your lesson. So where did you get the videos from? How did you download them and put them into a PowerPoint? because these are skills that they could use when they get into the real world or even later on when they're doing projects. Well, since new technology is getting invented, it's always good to be handy with technology because maybe in the job there will be no paper or pencil. We'll have to use just computers, so it's always good to start out as a kid. Like all three classes did it, we can only discuss with your class, maybe just your group mates. On discussion board, you can discuss with everyone, everyone has a say in it. When you put work like online and other kids can see it, I think it makes you kind of work harder and better so kids kind of look at you and like, oh, that guy's smart, he knows the answer. And you don't like, you try to write neatly so they can read it and you actually try so, so people can like look and like be amazed.